Hey, how y'all doing? My name is Stanley Bates. My friends call me Sticky Stanley, and I am a truck bumper sticker artiste. You'll notice I said artiste instead of artiste. That should give you a pretty good indication of what we'll be doing today. Come on, I'll show you my workshop. So this is where the magic happens. Oh. Move that over there. So this is where the magic happens. My little artist studio right here. That's where I uh, practice drawing my titties. You can see right now, I, I'm getting pretty good at drawing them. Uh, I've made a lot of progress. I'm very proud of myself for that. You know, one day I had a bit of an artistic revelation. I said, hold on, I'm just drawing them regular size tits. What if I started making even bigger tits? And I mean, the rest is history. It's pretty much the best idea I've ever had. I like making little rhymes and jokes and stuff. Just stuff to roll off the tongue. <laughs> Here's a project that I've been working on for about four months now. I'm trying to figure out all the words that rhyme with truck. I mean, I think I got pretty much all of them. I might be missing one or two, but that seems like most of them. You know, language and learning are some of the most difficult slash tricky things in this world so sometimes i just work on a project like that and i just get stuck stuck i'm gonna write that down god damn it we gotta clean this shit up i am an enormous fan of the brand cummins you know that brand i mean they got the word come right in the name i mean that's half the heavy lifting right there you just take it on home you remember the kid on the playground that would wear the same faded black wwe t-shirt to school every day and he'd push you down spit in your eye and insult your sexuality well that's pretty much the energy that i'm trying to go for with these truck bumper stickers now listen up i got an insider tip for you one of the most valuable and versatile tools in your bumper sticker arsenal is the word pussy. It can be used as an insult, as an object of sexual desire, really anything. I mean, move over pussy. Ugh. I got pussy on the brain, so stay out my lane. I pussy, you pussy, he, she, they pussy. I mean, it really is a language in and of itself. Now, you really want your truck bumper sticker to convey a sense of absolute desperation when it comes to proving your masculinity to other people. Now, everybody that drives a big truck knows this fact. Every single person that you encounter on those U.S. roadways is just begging to quit question your rural identity, your toughness, and your heterosexuality at a moment's notice. It's best to just get ahead of the whole situation right away and let everybody know up front, hey guy, I ain't gay. I don't like penises. I'm not a fan of the scrotum. I don't like butts unless they're on a lady. Just get that whole vast deference seminal ejaculate get that out of my face and mouth i need you all to understand how tough and how strong i am by making it painfully clear to y'all that i am not into men and that i am not into the arts and that any suggestion otherwise is gonna cripple me emotionally where'd i hug my pen there it is it's under the tits so stop it that ain't me only thing i want is a big steaming bowl of vagina that's it don't stray from the path stamp that shit I also like God and Jesus. They're pretty much just rad as hell. And nothing says come to Christ like a crooked piece of plastic just haphazardly slapped to the back of a Chevy Silverado. I'm trying to come up with an inspirational Christian bumper sticker. Let me see, God and Jesus. Take a, take, a, take a risk on Christ. You got God, you got Jesus, just get in there and take the Lord and Christ and the Father and the Holy Spirit and just cram them up there, Stanley. Just ram them up there hard. If you don't like Jesus Christ, then fuck yourself to death. That's the sticker right there. No, I bet I can get pussy in there somewhere. Let me try again. <laughs> <laughs>